Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of South Place KOTOR. Right, we're on our way back to Kashyyyk, but quickly let's have a quick yeah, chat with everybody. Want? See if we can uh, advance any stories. You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. Hmm. If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is... We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy. The main belt in the Crispin system... Ah, he's already told us this one. Ha, <laughs> but that would... He's already told us this story. After what? Maybe. It started rotating fast before... Why is he telling us this one again, I wonder? We could... We've... Any... Uh, is this... Uh... Tatooine is one big death. The world there are you have any No, nope, nothing to now, Candorus. Alright, um Hmm. Need to talk to him again, I think, to unlock his mission. But we'll do that after the next the next one. Yep, Sasha has gone back to her family. Uh do we risk talking to Jahani and getting shouted at again because of Taurus? Uh yes. Zalbar is not currently here, and well, I guess Akami is currently growing as planned. Hmm. Yes. I was remembering Taris. No, it's all right. I think I'm over the worst of it. Oh, I apologize that's good. again for <laughs> lashing out at you. It was not your fault. It was a horrible place to have to live. At least in the lower cities where the non-humans tended living for years in a place with no sun, living off the trash dropped from the upper levels, and the meager pay doing back-breaking labor. There was always the danger of raccoons coming up from the sewers, or more mundane predators living and working in the area. My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives. Taxes from the corrupt government, more fees from the gangs controlling the streets, and whatever was left paying for what food and medical. Wow. With no money to spare for any amenities, even the enclave on Dantooine seems a paradise. And of course, there was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent and human citizens, lording their wealth over us. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wildlife lived and laughed at the mockeries that were... But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. This goes to show humanity can be the greatest force in the universe, but also apparently the worst. <laughs> ah, humans. The Jedi who encouraged me to join the Order. The one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I am sorry. I am getting away from my point. If there... Sometimes I curse the day my parents fled to Taris. But then again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. Another story for... Okay, well, we might be meeting Johanny's parents at some point then. That'd be interesting. Uh, let's send him. Oh, Talk to him a bit. Uh, I think we probably need to have a chat with Carf and Bastila, though. It's been a while. Um, now nah, we'll leave HKB. I know his, how his story ends. I have a chat with Carl. Yes, what's in your And then I already told you he betrayed us all. Bastler. Well there there is more to it. I'm I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. Uh I asked, didn't I, Calf? <laughs> it's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my home world, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. 
millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough Damn. medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but that th they didn't come in time. Wow, that's not surprising. You've got such a grudge against Saul. I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them, and I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again. But I, I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. She had courage, and and she was stubborn. Could never talk her out of anything once she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now I had planned on on leaving soon to join her. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's uh. Let's continue with what we were doing. Yep. <laughs> well, that means his son's going to turn up alive. Nobody. How can I help? Okay, let's uh, let's peel the pin on this particular grenade. You have been patient with me, haven't you? I suppose you deserve an answer, but you have to understand how difficult this is for me to say. And uh, suddenly, what Johanny said last episode is going to make a hell of a lot of sense. With all my training, I should be able to control myself better than this. But you're not like anything I expected. You're not like any man I've ever met before. I find myself watching you when I don't mean to. I'm thinking about you when I don't want to. It isn't supposed to be like this. See? The slow romance by subtly teasing her. <laughs> uh. Every time I try to call on all my teachings to calm myself, they fail me. You have such power, such passion. I don't know if it's due to the bond between us, but I'm drawn to you. Hmm. So she won't fly, I'm not just No, no, that's, that'd be a lie. The Force is a part of you, as is your power. But that's not what attracted me to you. It's more than that. Maybe it's the bond we share. It gives us a certain intimacy. If I could, I would return to Dantooine. I need to be away from this bond of ours. I need to weaken it. I need to be anywhere but near you. But Malak must be stopped. My own feelings are nothing when compared to that. Yet I know this could affect the sake of our mission if it's not resolved. I can't let that happen. Ooh. Uh, option three. And go where? I am needed here, just as you are. There is nothing that is more important than what we are doing, which is why we need to resolve this. I think, I think we should have some privacy for this. So he is I'm trying afraid. to stick to the Jedi Code, which is admirable. You're stronger than I am, and there's no point in telling me otherwise. You will be a great Jedi, I think. I hope. In some ways you make me feel weak, like I'm caught up in the wake of our destiny. But at the same time, you make me feel stronger, more alive. Mm hmm. Right, flipping a coin. Do I have a coin? Yes. That's a bit. And it's option two. I realise now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realised this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing and overcoming my feelings for you, I've learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear, but I felt that it was important you know our infatuation was nothing more than mm. a result of our powerful bond. I've got the fear this is going to play in later, so... Yep, yeah, number one. Please don't say it like that. You make it sound like I was using you. Don't you realize how difficult this was for me? Mm -hmm. I 
do you think I came to this decision? I know how hard this is for both of us. You just kept pressing forward, so I had to be the one to step up and do the right thing. You're the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if I let myself be blinded by my feelings for you? You... you mean it, don't you? But how can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I... I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. But I don't... I mean, I can't. Malak will... Right. Coin again. But I think this is going to result in the same thing either way. And number two. Okay, you've made your point. Now shut up and kiss me, you fool. <laughs> and yep, typical fade to black, so you know what happened. shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. The Jedi are not allowed to fall in love. It was, it was a moment of weakness when I kissed you. We shouldn't have. I'm sorry. No, I know we both wanted it, but we shouldn't have given in to our desire. We're Jedi. We can't act like this. Not now. Not when we still have to deal with Malak. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, but it was a mistake. I have to get out of here before somebody sees us together. It's probably a bit late for that, considering what Jahani said last episode. When she said, your bastard. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> See, this game did a much better job of portraying the desires and struggles of what it is to be a Jedi than I believe even some of the current content being produced does. Including a certain book that has just been published quite recently. But uh, we'll not go into that. <laughs> Uh, right, let's get back to Kashyyyk and back on with the mission. Oh, Incoming damn it. Fighters. I'm gonna get killed. The mouse are a bit sluggish. Ah, oh, got him. Okay. Just you then, buddy. There we go. Hmm. Yes, that can happen randomly when you uh, travel via hyperspace. You'll get attacked by Sith fighters. I'm going to take Karth initially on this bit, because, uh... Hmm... Garth and Kandorus, because I have a suspicion of what will happen, but I will change the party before I go down to the Shadowlands. Because I need Jolie. Actually, we'll take both of them for those two. No, no. I haven't had my second chat with, with uh, Kandorish yet, so it's a uh, calf we need. No, nope, I would have thought we'd have uh, got. Oh well. Alright. Let's go free the chap who's an indentured servitude because of uh, the machinations and truckery of the guy who's got him in it. I think you better talk to Eli. Dr Hi there again. Valued until you can't you hurt me, Matt. Droid head on Kashik? Let me see that. It's nothing. I'm certain. Uh, just garbage from the forest floor. Mere rubbish. 
It's DAO2, the repair droid from my ship. Who was this doing in the forest? Eli, you snake. You said my crew jacked the ship without paying the repair bill. Well, <laughs> that is, it's not how it looks. You see, a good mechanic is hard to find, and that is and not what? matter. I thought I owed you. You tricked them into the Shadowlands and killed them while I fixed your freighter in orbit. Now keep your head, Matt, and it was just business. Doesn't matter. He killed his friends, but that alien bog slime. Do you know I've been here 36 days slaving to pay a debt in good faith? Wow. I have to admit, I'm surprised you let him get away. I don't know if I could have been as forgiving. Well, I could have shot out his legs and let him crawl around for a while, but I consider this far more merciful. Um, <laughs> that's actually not. I suppose it does. Maybe I should keep it up for a while on my own. I have no ship at the moment anyway. Yeah, it'll probably take a while to convince Eli's suppliers that I'm the new boss. But eventually I'll buy my way off this rock. Hmm. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, I'll get those because I'll need them later. And these are probably going to be much more reasonable prices now. Ooh, hello. Ooh. That's almost worth it. Where keeps on trying to sell me gizzard poison, don't they? Alright, you know what this mate calls for, guys? Skip mode. I'll see you in the Shadowlands. So, Jolie, you decided to leave your little hermitage in oh, the forest. Ah, there we are, guys. Stop the sis. I guess you realize this was worth coming out of retirement for. Huh? Yeah, that's right, Sonny. The Sith are the greatest evil to hit the galaxy since, well, the Mandalorians. And they're the worst thing since XR Kuhn. Blah, 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 etc., etc., etc. Lost me there. Are you trying to make a point? Look, everybody always figures the time they live in is the most epic, most important age to end all ages. But tyrants and heroes rise and fall, and historians sort out the pieces. <laughs> Malik is a tyrant who should be stopped. If he conquers the galaxy, we're in for a couple of rough centuries. Eventually, it'll come around again, but I'd rather not wait that long. So we do what we have to do. We try to stop the Sith. But don't start thinking this war, your war, is more important than any other war just because you're in it. That's an interesting theory, but I don't buy it. The Republic stands for something. It stood for something for 15,000 years, and if it falls, everything will change forever. You believe whatever you need to get through this, Sonny. The bottom line is we both want to stop Malik. So let's not get hung up on the details. Let's just get back to stopping it. Eh, good point. Uh, and let's not go the wrong way now, fellas. Just because we've had a little chat. Because we need to go this way. You know, I forgot what noise attack glands make. Ooh. Yeah. Only one of them is working now, thanks to earlier shenanigans. <laughs> and somebody just walked through one of the bombs. And it was Kath, again. I might need to up your perception skills after this, Kath. You keep walking into grenades and mines. Ah, that's fine. Right. There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other Zerga equipment dumped down here. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it, though. But there are others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It is all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it 
hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking, climbers don't have much trouble getting around. Nah, fair enough. I can manipulate it for a moment. Uh, let me see. How did the Zerg engineers do it? Uh, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Kashyyyk. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager. Woo, maybe I should have brought two Jedi with me. Oh, more attack. Suppose I best go check on Griffin a bit, see if he's actually managed to uh, do everything he said. Oops. There's a walkie down there. And some Mandalorians, of course. We got some Mandalorians to hunt. And then there's Mandalorians, there's decent arms and armor. Ooh, strength points. Uh, you know, maybe I should have brought Candorus with me, that would have been interesting. Alright, let's have a look at what's down here first. Hello. This is gonna hurt. This always consistently makes me want to reevaluate these blades. But then again, at this point in the game, you're pretty stronger than most of the creatures. Oh, that means skipping. Mm. Oh, well, considering Carl's actual sure. awareness, you think he wouldn't walk into as many mines as he does. Okay. Oh, more things to slay. If it gets too many, I will skip past them a bit more. Uh. Nice. 
I'll give those to the Wookiee to try and wonder he's dead if I can. If not, I shall keep them for something much later on. As to what? I don't know yet. Yep, more tax glands. If I had the hormone, the, the pheromones to uh, do that. Yep, pheromones, yep. Oh, hello. Feeling this is where I have to fight the um surrender tech if it's I wonder if that will put an end to the great hunt as well. Cool, I can just summon the trend to check straight away. <laughs> nice. Right, here we go. Oh, he's a big boy. He's got fully developed spines as well. Right, calf, you know what to do. Apparently, Jolie's not seen the Torrent attack. For later, I need that to reforge something. That will probably be. Yep, here we are. No. Where's my inventory? Damn it, hell. That should be the last part of the journals. I wonder if I can return them. To the, uh, the Jedi Librarian on Dantooine. And that was your arrogant slip. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, but that just goes to show that all three of you have fallen down the dark path because that was very arrogant and it led to your death. Ah, fools. Right. I think on that one, guys, we'll bring the episode to a close there. We'll head down this path on the the next episode so thank you very much for watching and as always take care have a good day may the law keepers ever be in your favor <laughs> <laughs>